All right, so I already did today's nerd. I'll link in the description to that video if you haven't seen it already. And they have a new thing now where once you've completed the nerdle, it unlocks a by nerdle, which is sort of like Dordle, I think, where you're guessing, you know, in Dordle we're guessing two words at the same time. I think it's like that where we're guessing two nerdles and our, I think our guess, yeah, our guess applies to both of them. So this should be really interesting. Um, I've never done one of these. I don't really know what to expect, but we're gonna just go for it and see what happens. So I'm just gonna start with my usual 12 plus 35 equals 47. I mean, I know everybody has their favorite start, but really the whole goal is just to use six unique numbers. Uh, I find it helpful to use the lower numbers just to rule them out if nothing else, so. All right, so this one up here has the plus and the equals, so let's go ahead and put those in there. This one, oh, and the equal, good, they both equal a two-digit answer. Now this one doesn't have plus here, but it has it somewhere, so that's interesting. So, I'm not sure really the best approach here. I guess we just kind of have to focus on one or the other. I, I don't know, okay, we'll see what happens. This one up here is a two-digit plus a two-digit. There's not a one. Uh, we could do something like, I mean, 25. I'm just using the numbers that we know are in here. Plus, there's no one, three, or four. 67 would be 92. Seems reasonable, let's go with that. Okay, so we got a lot of the digits, but none of them are in the right place. Okay, so, now I'm thinking about maybe trying to do a guess for the bottom one. Cause see, that guess on the top one got me some more information about the bottom one. And so I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll try the bottom one and that'll give me some more information on the top. I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I'll alternate for now and see what happens. Okay. Uh, so this one down here is interesting because there's an addition, but it's not there. And we can't be doing, you know, if you did addition here and that was the only operation, you'd have a single digit plus a three digit, which is never going to equal a two digit. Right? So there must be two operations. So we have to do addition and something else. So we could do something like multiplication and addition. Two things multiplied and then add something else. That would seem reasonable. We could do something like five times six, which is 30 plus. Now we don't have a one, two, three or four though. And the four can't be here. So the answer has to be at least in the fifties. So five times six won't work. And we don't have a seven or a nine, so we'd have to use, we could do like an eight, that's 48, plus four would be 52, that's not gonna work. And if this is 54, this would have to be six, we could do that, 48 plus six equals 54, because that checks two new spots for the six. All right, I'm gonna try that. Hey, that was the second one, all right, very cool. That was pretty lucky. Uh, okay, so I'm not wearing the right shirt for this, the lucky guess shirt. I'm wearing the, the wrong one. Okay, so anyways, okay, so up here, we know the plus is here. We know the equals is here. Okay, we've, we've, we're narrowing in on where the five goes because there's several locations it can't be, and the two. The two, I mean, the two could be here, but if we're adding two single digit numbers and we can't have something in the teens because there's no one, then there's no way it's gonna end in a two. So the two has to be somewhere in this second two digit number. Now the, let's see, the seven, the seven has a few options. The five, I mean, we could do 50 something. The trick is we don't wanna to get too big over here because we can't use an eight or a six and this can't be nine. So unless this is a seven and it can't be five. So this is either in the seventies, it can't be four or three. So, and there's no way we're in the twenties. So this is a seven. This is a seven right here. The answer is in the 70s. Okay, so if we're in the 50s, we've gotta add something in the 20s then, because we don't have any teens, and we can't be above 70. So, and we need, we need a nine somewhere, and we can't obviously put a nine over here, so this would have to be the nine. We need, what else do we need? We've got two, five, seven, and nine. Okay, so now the others just need to be repeat numbers. Uh, and, but it needs to be something that adds to nine. We can't use a five. We can use, uh, well, we could do seven and two like that. That would work. 22 plus 57 equals 79. I 
think that works. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Hey, that was it, all right, cool. All right, so there you go. That was my first ever buy Nurdle, very interesting. Um, I feel like I was just kind of solving one or the other at a time, um, and but I guess that's kind of how it goes with the multi-word ones too. You're kind of focusing on one and then hoping that what you get from that guess will also help you in the other ones. So, and it definitely did work out that you know the guesses on the other ones helped with each other. So I'll definitely have to look at some more of these in the future. Pretty cool idea. So let me know how you do with today's Nerdle and Binerdle if you tried them, and be sure to subscribe for more puzzles.